I've come to Runnymede on the 15th of June, the anniversary of the sealing of the first issue of Magna Carta in 1215 by King John. The Magna Carta has stood at the, the test of time because of the essence of it, not necessarily the actual content of the charter that was drawn up in 1215. Now that charter was actually known as the Charter of Runnymede, where it was sealed. It didn't become known as Magna Carta until the introduction of the Forest Charter um, later on. And so you had two charters. And Magna Carta meaning Great Charter, not as in it was great, the great ideas, the, you know, which kind of has taken on that idea since. It was great as in the larger of the two charters. But for now, it was known as the Charter of Runnymede. And John put his seal on it on the 15th of June. It had begun on the 10th of June with uh, the document itself. It had begun, if you like, on the 10th of June with the original articles of the barons, which was effectively a list of demands from the barons about what they wanted the king to uh, abide by. That then set off uh, a series of shuttle diplomacy where different versions of the document would uh, be revised, sent to the opposite camps, revised again, and there would have been daily meetings here from the 10th of June. There are no contemporary accounts, unfortunately, so we are left to fill in some of the blanks. But there would have been daily negotiations until the 15th of June where John decided to, when John decided to stick his seal on the, uh, on the document as it stood at that, at that point. And it seems that John did that without the Baron sort of realising that it was going to happen there and then because there's a clause in there that, um, that stipulates that 25 Barons, one being the Lord Mayor of London, can, could hold John to account for the clauses in, in the Charter. However, they were not named. So that's kind of an indication that that was not their final revision for the Magna Carta, for the Charter, uh, that became to be known as Magna Carta. But, uh, but John, in a sort of take it or leave it now, stuck his seal on it. Now, he retracted it very, very quickly, well, immediately afterwards. Um, so I think it didn't really matter to John whether the final document uh, was the was fully negotiated because he had absolutely no intention of sticking to it anyway.